I'm gonna save the best best for last because I'm really excited. I've never found that brand before, so get excited. Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film a Goodwill bin slash outlet haul and I did a little bit of a shop with me. I spent $18.37. Let's see how many items I bought and count that up. I wish I could say I found 18, but I found 17 items. So each one of these was a little bit over a dollar each, which is insane. Like once you start going to the bins, you really can't go anywhere else. It's it's kind of bad. It's the last stop before everything gets shipped out to either be recycled or another country. So I highly recommend if you have a bins in your area, you check it out either for yourself or to repurpose and resell like I do. So, and I do end up wearing a lot of these clothes. Like the things that I found at the bins, honestly, some of them are my favorites. So if you guys don't know already, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. I always respond to comments and I love hearing what you guys think about the clothes that I bought. If it's a dud, if it's a good find, let me know. I'm super curious. I've really only been doing this since March, so I'm pretty new to the game still but I'm having so much fun doing it and sharing this journey. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into the shop with me clips and then I'll do the haul. So I'm at the bins and I wasn't planning on making a video, but I'm finding a lot of really good stuff that I wanted to share. So here we are. <laughs> longer I'll be here but I'm, I found some pretty good stuff so far I kind of wish I had more because I don't come here very often I come maybe once every week or two so So I'm gonna start off with what's on top and probably what's the most exciting in my opinion. So I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, but sometimes I go to the thrift store and I'm like, gosh, I really wanna find this one brand. And I've been looking for like the last three or four times I've gone and I found it and I found it in the craziest way. I found it because the tag was sticking out of the side of the bin. So sometimes I think shoppers do that when there's like a good item, but maybe they're not interested in it. But, okay, I didn't button it out of, and I'm so sorry, but there's like a million buttons on this. So it's a gunny sax or gun sax. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I think it's gunny sax vintage dress. So this brand is pretty cool and they create vintage dresses, but they also create formal wear for teens. But some of these vintage dresses can go for a lot. This is like really interesting. I would definitely say cottage core type of dress. 
It has puff sleeves. It has this like floral embroidery around the neck and the chest area. And then it's just kind of a maxi length, but it's all this red velvet color. Um, and then the buttons have that like beautiful like hook closure almost and so i think this would be such a stunning like christmas dress because of the deep color but i saw this and i freaked out it looks like it's a size 11 so that was an awesome awesome find so gunny sacks keep your eyes peeled especially for the vintage cottage core looking pieces because that's so trendy right now so very excited for that. Next thing was this cool sweater, which this woman kept going back and forth on and then she left it, so I grabbed it. But cool is a very expensive outdoor brand. I know it's up there with like Patagonia and North Face in terms of price, but it's just this nice red color. It has the, the logo, which looks like that. Um, I believe if it's a heart, that means it's woman's. So this is a woman's large. This one, I was so excited about there were definitely some like vintage resellers there and it, this was in a new bin and i grabbed it so this is actually a lucky brand washed and worn tag t-shirt so it has the flags like the racing flags and it says troublemaker on the back yeah and it has like a racer chick on it but this is vintage i believe i think lucky brand must have like rebranded it like kind of how Urban Outfitters has Urban Renewal. I think this is a lucky brand like vintage revival type of thing but if you can see here the stitching is like very uneven and it's single stitch so it's in a sorry my nails are disgusting it's in a row of like one whereas um, a lot of newer t-shirts have a perfect line of two. So pretty sure that means this is vintage, which vintage t-shirts are highly desired. It definitely needs a good bleach and oxy clean though. Okay, I need to go faster because we got a lot to go through. <laughs> the next thing is this Fashion Nova dress. Fashion Nova is one of those things that gets a lot of attention. So I thought this would be cool to have in my closet. Um, it's a romper and it's so cute. It, it's got an open back. I thought this was adorable. Probably won't sell for more than like 20, 25 bucks. This was from a new bin. So it's a skirt or well, it's a skirt, and it's actually a Lululemon skirt. So there's the little Lululemon logo and it's got this cool laser cut design on it. I need to figure out what size this is. It doesn't have the usual pockets where you can find like the size dot on Lululemon. So hopefully I can find that, but these should probably sell anywhere between like 30 to 40 bucks. This is a Yogalicious, uh, like just a black base layer type of thing. The Yogalicious logo just looks like that. And this is definitely like a less expensive athletic wear brand. You can get it at like TJ Maxx. I think Ross has it too, but I think it's a popular brand because the material is super soft. I've seen a lot of fitness bloggers talk about Yogalicious, so that's why I picked it up. Probably if it sells on Mercari, like maybe 15, 20 bucks. Okay, so this is a 41 Hawthorne top, which I picked up recently at the bins um, and it's gotten a lot of attention. So I figured I'd give this a try. It's an XXL and it's definitely more kind of like a career wear piece which obviously is not very popular right now, but I think it could be cute as like a casual top too. So 41 Hawthorne, popular brand apparently, and it's something that you can find in like Stitch Fix boxes. This is a Patagonia sweater. I was very excited to find this. And of course, as usual, there's a logo on it, which again, I had seen there, um, but I recently sold a Patagonia zip up that had a similar logo to this but it was on the sleeve and it's still sold for $25, which if we're talking about a bins find, that's not bad. So this is a size large and you know, what's cool about this too is if you wear it under a jacket, you won't be able to see it. So if someone's using it as a layering piece, it's still perfectly good and it's in great, great condition too. This I thought was cute. I normally never pick up Express, but I loved this skirt and I just thought it was so cool it's just pleated express skirts are super flattering they have like this thick band and i used to wear them all the time when i was in an office so if i was still in an office i would have totally kept this for myself but it's a size extra small and it's just got this cute floral pattern probably sell for like 25 bucks maybe 30. i've sold quite a few personal items from express and they tend to do pretty well this is a staring at the stars cardigan 
can't go wrong with a cardigan. I've been selling a lot, a lot of sweaters. Yeah, it's just got this like open front and it's, it kind of looks like a big blanket. Kind of want to try it on, but I don't want to like it. But this is a size extra small. And Staring at the Stars is an Urban Outfitters brand. This I was really excited about. When I first saw it, I just saw the tag and it was at a new bin. And I thought it was from Urban Outfitters originally, but then when I took it back to my cart, because sometimes you have to have like that hoarder mentality, I realized it was actually a Free People piece. So it's by Free People Beach. It's a size extra small. I really, I do try to get um, larger sizes, but you know, I grab what's cute. So <laughs> I don't size discriminate. But this is the front and this is the back. It's got an open back, quarter length sleeves, and ooh, it just goes all the way to the bottom like that. It's really long, it's like a maxi length, but this retailed for $98 and I'm super excited to get this listed. Honestly, if you wore this with a slip, you wouldn't even have to like, just limit it to wearing at the beach. So I thought that was pretty cool. I loved this fringe is super in for fall and so are graphics. So I definitely had to snatch this up. It's an ACDC t-shirt, it's just a band tee. And it looks like that. And then it has the fringe on the bottom. Like how freaking cool is this shirt? I think this is awesome. Um, I don't know where this would retail. If you guys know, let me know. And it's also kind of like a bleach dye. It's like three trends in one, like, damn. Oh shit, I meant to throw this back. I did not want this. Dang it. Well, whatever, okay. I mean, it's still cute. I actually just grabbed this for an Instagram picture, like a cart pic, I do that sometimes but it just says road tripping and it's from Roxy. In some universe, this is a size medium. This looks like an, a double XS small to me, but it's really cute. I just seriously did not mean to grab that. This is one I possibly grabbed for myself. It's a new day by Target. I really like this color a lot and it's turtleneck and it's got these balloon sleeves. So I thought that was really fun. I'm gonna try this on if I like it, I'm gonna keep it. If not, I'll throw it up on Poshmark, but it's a really cute, pretty color, so. All right, so this is a Diane von Furstenberg cardigan. This color is so trendy for fall and it's so freaking soft. I was shocked. This is a very expensive high-end brand. It has pockets and it has buttons somewhere. It doesn't say, and in my excitement, I forgot to check and see if this had a size tag and it doesn't, which when something doesn't have a size tag, it is such a freaking pain in the butt. So that kind of sucks, but whatever it's diane von furstenberg like can't be mad at that also if you see a mustard colored sweater just grab it somebody will buy it this was new with tags this is definitely more of a summer item but it's a tie-dye romper and it's kind of off the shoulder it's got like these frilly sleeves and it ties at the waist and it looks like that so this is a very brand called Boho Me, which I could not find on Poshmark, but since it's new with tags, it's a good size and it retailed for $70. You know, I figured can't go wrong, if nothing else, Plato's Closet. Somebody will buy this though. I mean, it's so cute. That brand they sell at Nordstrom Rack, um, and I think it's more of like a boutique brand. Okay, are we ready for the most exciting piece that I got? There's a pair of these good American shorts. These are so cute. They're distressed on the front and the back. Um, they've got a button fly, which we love a button fly. And it's a good size. It's a size 12 so or 31. So I about pooped my pants when I found these. Like they were in a new bin. I used to say like, you know, just cause it's in a new bin doesn't mean it's gonna be better, but like, I found most of the stuff in new bins today and I was jazz like, holy crap. Good American sells for a lot, even secondhand. So yeah, I am so excited to look up comps on those and see how much I can sell them for. I didn't even look to be honest because I just knew. Like if you see good American at the bins, grab it. <laughs> so yeah, that is everything I got. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.